What's up guys? This is the Roverman, and I'm back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Mexico. So to run off happened last time, the war against the United States has started. I have blitzkrieged up the uh, if through the south, and so American forces are coming from the north to stop me. And it might be a bit sticky, because I'm currently depleted, and I am a sit I'm in a settlement with no walls. However, I am reinforcing Georgia, and I'll be bringing in fresh troops from St. Augustine. Um, this force up here in the in um, in uh, the Louis in Lower Louisiana is moving up to capture Upper Louisiana, where they will then probably spread north and take out Michigan Territory, and I'll probably recruit another smaller stack to go in and take up um, Kentucky Territory, probably based out of New Orleans. Actually, you. So this this force is the one who cleared up the um, marauding or the roaming um, stack of or stack, a couple of units of leftover cavalry um, from this earlier battle. So they're going to go back and replenish it in uh, Lower Louisiana. Apart from that, things seem to be going quite well. So I might send him over there to try and assassinate the general. Pow! Got him! Oh, my... Oh, no, wait, my agent's still alive. Cool. No, it's that. Okay, so he's done a good job. He's assassinated a US general. And then Justin Hampton. Don't know much about him. But anyway, let's. Spent all my money. Done all my investment. Got longitudinal watch on the go. Doing diamond research because there's not much else I can do. Let's hit end turn. That's a garrison force for the lower Louisiana port. So let's see the US response. Yep, they are sending stacks down to fight me. To raid me, thankfully, rather than actually attack me. That's very, very good to see. Um, the Austrians are still fighting off these French rebellions, but they have stacks and stacks and stacks of troops, so never really expect that to be a problem. The Genoese and the Moroccans are at war. That's a new development. So that's they're probably going to look to cross the strait and secure Morocco. I'd like the Moroccans to win. Right, that's reminding me, I've got my large fleets off to the Far East to secure um, spices for my empire. The Prussians are recovering from a failed amphibious assault against the Great Britain, the Great Great Britain, and they're now mobilising against the Marathons who own Copenhagen. But hopefully, uh, we will see more attempts by Prussia to invade the British Isles. Demand Florida for peace. No. Because right now, you're not a bother for me. Russia, you've got a couple of ports. Sure, you might trade, raid the odd bit of territory here and there. But apart from that, you're not really a bother. So you're more than welcome to be at war. Land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms I'm not going to spend any money here, because it'll probably be raided. So I want to recover there. Build walls, fortify my way up the coast. Two fresh units of line infantry. So let's take these guys back to Georgia. These fresh units will replace them on the front. Good. This army, move up and take the Louisiana. I will fight this. I just want to finish off a bit some more of my admin for this turn. Um, don't upgrade. You're replenishing. Uh, let's upgrade the port and let's open up uh, Florida to trade more goods. Let's get a craft workshop. And these are both tier 1 level cotton and sugar plantations. So we are producing serious amounts of stuff, although we do have a blockaded port with 24 pound frigates thirds and a second rate ship of the line <laughs> okay so let's get this chap with a second rate he can lead the uh, fleet of Indiamen but this chap Fabricio Alvarez is going to move on the American forces blockading my port with all of the fourth rates with a handful of fourth rates too as well Good. So I think I'm 
I think I'm going to auto resolve that. Oh, I lost three ships. But I did capture their flagship. Oh, and I didn't just... Right, so next time I'm not going to auto resolve it. And I don't want to send them after them. Because I'll lose... Oh, no. I will do it, just to get rid of them. Uh, it could be quite devastating for me. Didn't lose any. I captured a third-rate ship of the line. Take it. So this fleet now make port and repair as much as you can. Good. So I've got the longitude watch. Longitude watch. Um, research and tech. Don't really want that. Carronades aren't. I'm not so bothered about. Copper bottoms are probably pretty good. Increases cost, but increases movement range, movement, uh, movement range and speed. Do I just get Salamanca hacking away at some industrial tech rather than doing something I don't really want? Let's get them to hack away at grape shot. Good. Lower Louisiana's got lots of expansion. Only me two and a half thousand per turn. Very very nice. Thirty three thousand. Uh, 33,000 gold per turn. Let's get these guys back to Lower Louisiana. It's a nice core of troops. Not being raided. Oh yes, this army here is under recruitment. So you will... I'll recruit a... I can't recruit anything. Um, I was going to recruit a... Sh well, I'll get them all shipped over to the States. Um as quickly as possible. Good. Fabricio Alvarez has become a bit of a beast. Good, good news everyone! On his third train. Cool. Okay, so let's go back up to Upper Louisiana and let's assault. I'll move up onto American positions. Infantry mercenaries, Continental Marines, a, a pretty ragtag bunch. Um, so I don't think it'll cause us much bother. So we're going to move in. I die. Leonard edition, his last words. Astute observation, Leonard. Astute observa observation, indeed. So. Oh, rain. Set up my core position probably a bit further to the left. Let's move my cavalry. Set up my guns. To be honest, I'll set them all up on the left. You are all messed up. So you've right, so got a grand battery. Deploy holding unit on the right, or holding flank on the right. Let's deploy my howitzers behind, because I basically want to advance up with the left wing. So let's get some frontiersmen on the left. Let's group. Well, that unit of cavalry is pretty much knackered, so you stay back to help guard the guns. And this guy will move up on the left. Oh, they're moving up in. They're moving up um, to attack. So let's go here instead. Well, no. Let's uh, let's get up in their faces. Native tribal auxiliaries. Let's get my deploy my cavalry into the mix. Militia, colonial line. American infantry mercenaries. Can't really see them in this weather. Oh no, they're not gonna get all them firing canister into.
retreat my general back. And let's turn, let's hold fire at will. Because my cavalry is charging into them. Let's spin this flank up. Okay, so let's get my troops out of the way so if firepower can do their work. Fire at will. Let's go how much is to hit. Where's that colonial Continental Marines? As the militia units get chewed to bits. Okay, so cannons to shot. You are within range. You target them. You target them. You. You go straight for this Hessian line infantry that's coming right at you. Well, the American infantry volunteers can do fire by rank. That's pretty cool. But they're being hit by canister shot. Let's get my howitzers to do provide some long range fire support. Just what the doctor ordered. You hit the Continental Marines. Curassiers? Okay, let's pick a unit of artillery to poke at them. Pound of horse artillery moving up. Mm, the artillery is limbered up. Let's keep my hand says poking at the uh, cuirassiers as they move around the field. To be honest, let's get my let's just get my artillery to keep focusing on them now. The infantry threat is manageable and dealt with, pretty much. Don't need to worry about chasing them down. The artillery crew are abandoning their weapons. It's the Crassier is the most dangerous piece now. Let's fall my grandeurs back because they're being plucked away at by um, Minutemen. General's been killed. And they're wavering. I look at these guys producing a nice orderly queue to retreat. The second regiment. The second regiment. Remember the second regiment? They got absolutely pasted in that other battle. So they replenished and they came back to fight the Mexicans for another time, for another go, and they failed.
get my cavalry on a, a route to hit their guns. Oh, actually, just come, just go straight for them. The folks firing, still folks firing the uh, cuirassiers at the back. Okay, so they've deployed, maybe in response to me deploying my cavalry. I'll trade a unit of colonial light for a uh, cuirassiers, though. Trying to chase after my guys, so I want to run them through. Okay, so, so everyone halt, fire at will. Till I get my guys behind the line. Turn on, fire at will. Ready to open fire onto the Cressiers. Suicidal charge of the first horse guards. And the, the marines stoically retreatful <laughs> advance back to face the torrent of fire. What's that now? So that's f nine artillery pieces, folks. If no, uh, fifteen artillery pieces firing upon them. Well, now it is. This is their officer with his very fitting, with his very nice-looking hat. Oh, the drummer's down. It's enough of that. Oh, is there... who's that? So I'm going to speed up time and allow my uh, cavalrymen to chase down this irregular long rifleman unit. They could make one of my cavalry units rout, because if they stop and shoot, Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh no, you stopped. Charge into them then. And let's halt fire with my artillery. Good, my cavalry chopped together. Chopped a unit of long rifleman to pieces. Is this another unit of American infantry mercenaries? Everyone, open fire on this single unit marching into the maelstrom. And to be honest, let's just charge my cavalry in. Because I'll probably waver. Yeah, there'd be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Even before my cavalry get involved. End battle. Heroic victory. The capture. It's going pretty well. I won't pretend. Lost 328 men for the total annihilation of their forces. Oh, but there is a. Big American stack up there with a pretty meh selection of troops. So get reinforcing, not repairing, because I can't really afford to. But yes, that's gone rather well. I'm, I'm going to start. I, I need. Oh, see, I might need to keep some of my uh, Jesuit colleges now, actually, because I'm getting into. Um, I can't build one there. It's frustrating because I'm, I'm getting to heading up towards the the American um, region so probably not I'll destroy this one College of Divinity and I'll build a Catholic school here ready to start exporting my uh, missionaries northwards so let's see the American response oh, they're gonna blockade me somewhere again let them more than happy to let them Ah, you want to attack me, eh? More than happy to do that. We are in excellent shape. 3-1 victory, smashing the Americans to pieces. So let's try another one. I am a declaration. Right. So 
so about here might be good because I want to pick oh that's excellent as they crest the hill my canister shot will be right onto them perfect so my solid core of line infantry maybe th thicken them a bit more good so let's turn them off of canister for now cavalry minutemen frontiersmen so let's get my colonial lights colonial line in position get my grenadiers in position and my frontiersmen so very weak flanks well the right well the left flank is very weak, the right flank is very strong. Let's get a cavalry in the woods on the well, let's keep cover on the left. In the woods, my strong unit, my weak unit on the right. General in the centre. Howitzers just get ready to open fire, I suppose. These guys' graphics haven't loaded in, which is weird and unfortunate. But yes. Oh god, lots of them haven't loaded in. That's very peculiar, because they were fine not very long ago. Okay, so this might be a battle where I do more of this view. General's bodyguard. Two units, general's bodyguard on the left. Colonial light. I'm more than happy to let them right now focus on the artillery. Oh, that was a devastating shot. A nice long rank of cavalry. And a Native American unit is advancing. Right, so these guys are going to get it picked at. They're not dying in their droves, which is unfortunate. Let's get them ready to wave, because if they hit my frontiersmen, they'll melt through them. Oh no. I'll deal with them routing. That's good enough for me. Absolute devastation of their artillery, which is perfect. Okay, so my howitzers need to support over here this native bowmen. Native bowmen are the bane of my existence. Oh, actually, let's keep my artillery. My howitzers just firing at general targets. Long Rifleman, that's a good target for them. So advance my cavalry up. Good, let's get to work. Oh. Commit my cavalry. my cavalry to man their guns again. Which 
Charles the long ride from my weak cavalry unit. Best case I kill them, worst case they kill me. Infantry unit is retreated. Under the face of what? I'm not sure. There you go, my guys have hit the long riflemen. I'm happy to to um, sacrifice them if that's the uh, that they would need. Okay, so let's get let's commit my grenadiers on the right to the melee fight. Let's run my volunteers up here, my um, frontiersmen up here to provide fire against the long riflemen. run my gunners back in an attempt to protect them. They go, they're engaging cavalry my, my, my <laughs> Okay there's cavalry there's combat all up the front. Okay, so the left flank is a mess. Colonial line are engaging with my cavalry. Cavalry and infantry are engaging the, engaging the grenadiers. My grenadiers are going to fall back and hit their grenadiers also to secure this flank. <laughs> oh no! Oh, there you go. No, I can kind of seen them. hit that unit, the last unit of Colonial Light Cavalry. As if I was preparing to offensively charge my cavalry up this hill. Yep, it's the Light Cavalry going to be knocked out. Good, good, good. So who's left? Colonial. Let me also make my Colonial Light chase down that easy unit. Grenadiers. These guys on the other hand. Build a front to face down these bowmen. these guys to advance up slowly it's colonial militia that came back hit the general's bodyguard with canister Good, run them up to form a new position. And then let's get offensive. To be honest, I'm going to hold fire with you guys. You need to get up to that position, more likely. Get over the crest of the hill. Good 
guys are getting absolutely chewed up at close range. Oh, they're loading canister. But can they load it fast enough? So get, where's this unit of cavalry? Let's commit them to run around there. And then let's get these guys to move up and threaten their general because they're the only unit that's left. Now oh, he's routed. Let's continue. So where's my general? Let's run him around the... Run him around the stakes and get him to chase down that foot unit. Let's get my cavalry to run down that horse artillery guy. Good. May as well try and wipe him out. Except for this guy, it's just one gunner. Even if I just annihilate one gunner unit, I'd still consider that a win. Chop. And they're going to route, and they're going to route. But I've at least got rid of one artillery unit. And they're going to... Oh, I did get some of them. Good. Victory. Another... Sir. Good, good, good. Push them back. Oh, they've stopped me from destroying their school. But the more they prevaricate in Georgia, the... or the Carolinas, sorry. The more they prevaricate, the more my um, defences will be built. So I'm more than happy for them to run around and go, ooh, we might do this, might do that, blah, blah, blah. But yes, my offensive in the, the Americas is going very, very well. Much better than I dared hope. Um... Considering I thought the, the the force they would be able to bring to bear, and once I secure the mainland, I will be in a very very strong position as Mexico. Does feel silly to have that army near Madrid? I'm doing nothing, but it's giving me peace of mind that uh, I can at least I could fight off uh, anyone who tries to make a move for Madrid. Hanoverians. Why oh, did Hanover come back? I thought, oh, I thought Hanover got destroyed. Maybe they uh, rebelled. Hmm. Interesting developments. But yes, I'm currently taking, currently capturing the trady part of the US, you know, the south with all the plantations and the farms. Um, I'd soon take the north, a bit more industrialised, a bit more wealthy, a bit larger tax base. Um, but I'll take the south. South's a good start. South's got lots of uh, lots of goods I can trade. And I've got lots of good trade partners, so it's kind of a win-win. There is unused land suitable for farming. Breaking Hispaniola. Okay. Let's just get a farm on the go. Upgrade roads, upgrade roads. Upgrade goods to trade. Is that a weaver's cottage? Let's fix up a Louisiana. Let's replenish my army because it desperately needs it. And I need to... Oh, see, I need to build a happiness building as well to get some more rakes. So I think what I might do is happiness building here. Spawn rakes. Break that down. Destroy that. Turn that back into a religious building so I can start spawning um, religious chaps. Yeah, so these guys are fairly... Not weak, but... It equips. My guys are replenishing as much as they can. Go on, try, destroy that again. To at least use up some movement for them to go get it. So upgrade rows, even though it's slightly to my detriment. No, actually, let's not do it, because it is to my detriment. Good, my main fleet. Now, where's that Russian stack? 
up here, isn't it? There you are. I'm not even going to fight you. That's how pathetic you are. Brilliante. Good. You're good for nothing. Shit, they're back to America. Plant them on there for now. And then let's go to the... My plantation raids. But what I was looking for was this guy. Let's get him over there as well. There we go. 241 pounds of spices. And let's get you over there as well. Then let's go to here. Brilliant day. Let's recruit an admiral. Good. Seconds, thirds. Oh yeah, it's another naval naval uh, force that's being recruited. Ooh, and I did mean to recruit another sloop to share it to ferry my uh, Lisbon army across. Good. Basic Rose of St. Augustine. Good. Savannah, I can tax you now. Good. Ch Charleston, three turns till you get walls. You're all replenished. This stack's been knocked back under Nathaniel Green. You're replenished. You could do with an an extra unit of line infantry so you'll get it these stacks are gonna move here just to have see if I can get eyes on on what's going on in the Cherokee nations Let's see if I can get my get my little transport fleet over here Get my rake across. Embark him into my ships. Sail him over to Pensacola. Disembark the agent. Or he should have been. Still on, still on board. Oh no, okay, he must have automatically disembarked. Okay, let's send him to go up here and start to assassinate, or try to assassinate these uh, religious people. And where was my rake? Over here. The one I sent to ass I assassinate today, an American general. There he is. Send him there to try and infiltrate this army. Well, I'll say infiltrate. Assassinate. So something Marfidi Chambers. That would be good. Deck two off new bottle bayonet drills, one off of chain shot, three off of copper bottoms. Good. Things are going well. Right, but looking at the timer, I think we've hit the end of this part. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.